Hello, this is Dean with Motion Media. Today we're going to look at cutting some details into the geometry of the floor and the wall here to get this tiling pattern as opposed to using a bump map. So first I'm going to select the floor and the wall, add an Edit Poly modifier, and go to Edge Mode, select all the edges going one way, and we're going to connect them. I'm not sure how many. Let's do four. And let's select them going the other way. Whoops. And connect them. We'll do one more. There we go. Accept that. And we're going to go to face mode and select these individuals. Same thing on the floor. I'm just simply not selecting the ones we're not going to see. Now we're going to go to inset mode and use by polygon and just get a little bit of a seam in between them. Accept that. Then extrude. Again, just a really small amount. Looks good. Lastly, I want to select all the faces. Remember that when you do insets or extrudes, those new faces do not have smoothing groups. So I'm going to use a threshold of 25 degrees and auto smooth the whole thing. And we'll do just a quick render here. So this is just a really easy way to get, I would say, more high definition lines in your work without using the overhead of something like displacement or bump maps that don't always render properly, especially when you're doing an animation. This will also give us really good shadows and reflections when we go to do the final texturing. So I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you again soon.